You've probably already seen the launch of Google Gemini AI. Apparently, it's better than ChatGPT in a lot of things, which makes me so happy because competition is good. But did you know that their promo video was staged? A lot of criticism has come out. Is this an over promise, under deliver type of deal? I found a bunch of people's opinion on this and we're gonna go through it all. And by the end of this video, I'm actually gonna show you how you can access it yourself so you can speak with Gemini Pro right now. So for the completely uninformed that don't know anything about Gemini AI, let's watch this video together. Testing Gemini. Here we go. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. It is more common for ducks to be brown, black, or white. Are you sure? What the quack? This is the moment where I'm like, what the quack? There is no way that it can in real time make a funny joke. Can you teach me how to say this in a different language? And give me a few options. Ooh, can you explain how to pronounce the Mandarin one? Is it Yatsu? Yatsu is pronounced with a first tone. In Mandarin, there are four tones, which are essential to distinguish the meaning of words. The first tone is a high level tone. Oh, okay. Language learning is obviously a huge use case that if Google is better at it, it's going to be way easier. I'll still use Google Translate speaking into it while I'm talking with somebody that doesn't speak English. The duck is in the middle of the ocean. There is no land nearby for the duck to rest or find food. It is unlikely to find ducks here naturally. Okay, based on what you see, come up with a game idea. Oh, and use emojis, please. How about this? We can play a game called Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue one. This country is the home of the kangaroo, the koala, and the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, that's easy. I love how it's able to make a completely new game just from the video itself. You are trying to get me to find the paper ball under the cup. I accept the challenge. I think here it's really interesting that it's like, hey, you are trying to get me to do this, therefore I'm gonna do it without even asking it to find the paper in the cups. But again, I have my skepticism hat on. The cup to the left. Nice. Rock, I know paper, what scissors. you're doing. You're playing rock, paper, scissors. The coin should Ooh. be under the right hand. Mm, I don't know. Oh, the coin magic. is in the left hand using a sleight of hand technique to make it appear as if the Yo, all magicians are just gonna be ruined at this point. Gemini is like that one friend. I know how it's done, let me tell everybody. <laughs> Both objects are round and flat. There you go. Both are food. The orange is a healthier choice than the cookie. Citrus can be calming and so can the spin of the fidget toy. Give me some ideas for what I could make with this. I see pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? You can see on the right is Or how about a images. green cake with a pink heart? Jeez. Okay, how about these colors? And maybe show me some animals. Okay, now I see blue and pink yarn. How about a pig with blue ears? Or an octopus? That looks good. Which way should the duck go? Going left leads to a duck, which is a friend. Going right leads to a bear, which is a foe. It is better to make friends than foes, so the duck should go left. <laughs> smart choice. Smart. Really smart there. This is a picture of a crab. That's right. That's really interesting. So it's actually doing the line work before he's doing the line work. I see you're drawing a guitar. Oh, it's playing music. It's actually generating music, AI, and now he's gonna plug it in. You've added an amp. It's now electric. it's an electric guitar. We can make some seriously loud music now. Google's music model is actually really good, so this could actually be real. Given that you added drums, how about some 80s hair metal? Hair metal? What movie are they acting out here? I think they are acting out the famous bullet time scene from The Matrix. Ooh, nice. Cool. What do you think might happen next? The cat is going the to ball. jump to the wall and stick the landing. It's going to be a perfect 10. Nope. <laughs> oh, and it's a miss. It looks like it was just a little too far away. But don't worry, the cat is a natural athlete and it will be back up there in no time. So what's the problem? Here's how to edit your videos in a single click. Look, go to v.io slash magic dot cut. Get started for free. Now that we're on the inside, I'm going to create a project. I just dragged my video in here. Originally 22 minutes, but I'm not going to edit that. We're going to just click on magic cut. It removes silences, filler words and multiple takes. So you can make a video that is more engaging 
easier to digest and more concise. And just like that, AI is doing his thing. Now the video is just four minutes, but it doesn't have any subtitles. Therefore, we just click on the subtitle, click on auto subtitle, add automatic highlighting and click on create subtitles. And your entire video now has subtitles, but you may not like how it looks like right away. Therefore, you can go up and click on styles. Here you can select between all of these different preset styles and click on the one you want. Now it looks like this, but you may wanna post it on TikTok as well. Therefore, just click on the settings, click on the original and set it to, for example, a YouTube short aspect ratio and it's ready to get published. But if you're not sure if it, this will work for you, Vidio has a completely free plan. You can do everything I talked about in this video. Therefore, click the link in the description to go to Vidio and test it out for free. Thank you so much to Vidio for sponsoring this section of the video. So what's the problem? For the purposes of this demo, latency has been reduced and Gemini outputs have been shortened for brevity. As you can see, it's more where they take a picture then tell me what you see and then they take another picture and another picture and get the responses and they've updated a new statement we created the demo by capturing footage in order to test gemini's capabilities on a wide range of challenges a spokesperson says then we prompted gemini using still image frames from the footage and prompting via text translation google filmed those hands doing a bunch of things and then showed stills of the footage to Gemini one by one. There was no voice conversation, but a text exchange like you'd have with ChatGPT or Bard. Google's video made it look like you could show different things to Gemini Ultra in real time and talk to it. The user's voiceover is all real excerpts from actual prompts used to produce the Gemini output that follows the Google spokesperson added. Translation, the voice you hear in the video is just reading the text prompt. Don't do me like that. So that's kind of a bummer. However, apparently it is better than ChatGPT in many different cases. Take a look at this. As you can see, Gemini Ultra, which is the ultra plan that has more data trained on more material and Gemini Pro, the smaller version, I'll show you how to use in just a second. It's comparing it to GPT-4, 3.5, Palm 2, Claude 2, Inflection 2, Grok and Llama 2. The interesting finding here is GPT 3.5, which is free from ChatGPT, is actually worse than Gemini Pro at a 79% score. But the ultimate winner here being 90% from the Gemini Ultra and 87% from GPT 4. As we go down to grade school math, it accomplished 94%, while GPT at 92. Gemini Pro crushing GPT 3.5 with math, it is also beating and as we go down you will see more and more the ultra model beating GPT-4 here as well big bench hard human eval natural to code drop and then the hella swag was the only one where it actually didn't beat GPT-4 but the last test as well looking very prominent so there's definitely an argument to be made to not use GPT-3.5 anymore because it's the worst free version as you can see Claude 2 is free to use as well as Gemini Pro is also free to use and you can see GPT-3 actually underperforming in a lot of these tasks this guy Wilson put GPT GPT-4 versus Gemini playing chess. I serve as a human to make the moves for them. And here is the result, GPT-4 all the way. At this point in the game, Gemini just cannot keep the position straight in a text-based format. It continues to give me illegal moves no matter how I prompted it. You won't believe how much time I spent making this short GIF. He doesn't say if he's using Pro or Ultra on this, which would be a significant difference. This guy, Dimitri, said he tried 14 of the multimodal reasoning examples from the Gemini paper on OpenAI's ChatGPT with vision, didn't even transcribe the prompts, I just pasted the images of the prompts and GPT-4 gets 12 out of 14 right. Here you can see Gemini's response and he pasted this image into ChatGPT and here is ChatGPT's response. He's testing it for inverse graphics, plant identification, what n-gon shape follows, geometric reasoning, golf ball plus moon relation, find a cross street location from the picture. GPT-4 actually declines to provide the location because it's leaking private info but eventually does example eight explain the joke it actually does a better joke how to refer to chinese grandparents create an opossum google search page 
find the derivative of an equation, multi-step reasoning, reverse math plot, lib fig, and chart understanding and reasoning. 12 out of 14 correct from ChatGPT without even prompting it is really good. One part of me is saying like, I love to see this better model do all these multimodal things that we weren't capable to do with BART that has been pretty underwhelming. But one side of me is saying, don't try to make it look like multimodal video that you're having a conversation with. I understand there's a difference between the ad and what you actually have, but many people are convinced that AGI is here and you can literally real time results with a what the quack in the middle of it, which simply isn't true. But my favorite part is it's completely free to use. So let me show you how to access it. Just go to bard.google.com. And as you can see, introducing Bard extensions, I'll show you that in a minute, just click next, 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 and you're inside. As you can see, it looks very similar as ChatGPT. They even have upload an image in here and enter a prompt. If we ask it which AI model he's using, it's going to say I'm currently using the Gemini AI model. If we ask it, is it Gemini Pro or Ultra? It's saying I'm currently using the Gemini Pro AI model. And as you can see, it's actually answering all of this right here. Something that's also really cool is you can actually click on the extensions tab. And here you have these extensions like Google Flights, Google Hotels, Google Maps, Google Workspace even, and YouTube that you can take data from and use. The way you use it is kind of like just ask it for some documents you have, like for example, what is the last updated file in my Google Drive? It's actually gonna search through my Google Workspace. It didn't find any documents. Let me prompt it again. I prompted it, hmm, it should be there. There it find the document and I can even show more items where I get four more variations, where I get four more documents. I personally haven't used it enough to where I can give you a this is better than chat GPT, but GPT-4 has been going in circles and annoying the sh out of me for a little bit. So for the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna try more of the Gemini model, just chatting with Bard. And a quick bonus tip, if you don't have generative AI in Google search, you can now get access to that very simply by just going to labs.google, just scroll a tiny bit down and click on the first get started button, toggle this switch on, and and click on try an example. And just like that, you got generative AI in Google. This is very exciting. It's also a little bit disappointing, but subscribe to the channel because it's fun. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the links in the description down below. Also click my next video here. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.